Now, loved ones gathering to remember a five-year-old girl who lost her life to abuse. A vigil was held at the Oak Tree Apartments for Zakiria Robinson. Police said that she was beaten by her mother's boyfriend and died from her injuries a week ago. Zakiria's mother, Michelle Canamore, and her mother's boyfriend, John Say Harris, they are both charged with aggravated child abuse. Canamore is also charged with child neglect. News for Jacks reporter Corley Peel is joining us live outside Duval County Jail, where that couple is. And Corley, what does the family think about these charges that have been filed? Kent loved ones tell me that they want to make sure that Cannonmore and Harris will never be able to leave this jail. They say that DCF had recently been investigating the couple, and now they want to know why Zykeria's death wasn't prevented. Hey. Family and friends hold on to Safir Robinson during Friday night's vigil for his five-year-old daughter, Zykeria Robinson. Zykeria died from her injuries last week after police say she was beaten by her mother's boyfriend in their West Side apartment. If one person could have stepped up and went in that apartment and checked on our grandkids. She'll probably still be alive yeah. today. Zykeria's mother, Michelle Canamore, and her mother's boyfriend, Jonte Harris, are both in jail following her death. Zykeria's grandfather, Henry Doyle, says his son had been trying to get custody of Zykeria and her six-year-old sister for months. He says he hadn't seen his grandchildren since July. Thinking about, thinking back on it now is that she didn't want us to see the bruises on the child. Safe Haven of Northeast Florida says DCF was investigating Cannamore and Harris last month. Zykeria's six-year-old sister witnessed the abuse. Instead of letting her live with her father, Safe Haven officials say DCF put her in foster care. The father has done nothing wrong, but DCF will not turn his child over to him. We tried to get help. We tried to get people to come over and check on the grandkids. We wasn't getting anywhere. Mm. Zykeria's family is now working with Safe Haven to make sure Zykeria's life mattered and will make a difference for other children. Family members have decided to donate Zykeria's organs. They say she'll be able to save up to five lives. Safe Haven is accepting donations to help with Zykeria's funeral. If you wish to donate, you can find a link to their GoFundMe page on our website at newsforjacks.com. Reporting live from downtown, Corley Peel, Channel 4, the local station.